and then have cut them off, mm -hmm. which just defeats the purpose. And so, uh, but the, the the larger world of this technology is actually pretty happy stuff. I mean, um, there is new technology for tracking Alzheimer's patients. You know, who right, may have who gotten may lost. wander away. Right. Right. Sure. Um, tracking uh, uh, the the vital signs of professional athletes from the sideline. Um, you know, there's been a couple really? of cases in which you know football players have, have uh, collapsed of heat exhaustion, and seeing the early warning signs of that. Um, there's technology that that sort of allows you to do that remotely. Um, you know, even something as benign as keeping track of your dog. You know, a radio frequency tag yeah. implanted in your pet. The the vet you know finds a stray, scans it, and finds its rightful owner in an instant. Yeah. Do you see an explosion of the use? of GPS devices and, and obviously a lot of people are concerned about an intrusion of privacy. Absolutely, sure. I mean I think that, that there is a trade-off there and obviously this, this uh, you know, the, the inventor who filed for this patent has gone across the line in terms of privacy. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, you know, the use of GPS in the future will allow you to, you know, you'll never lose your wallet again. You'll never lose your keys That's again. Right. It's that kind of stuff where you're going to, you know, you'll be able to beat any object you own, you know, and, and, and find it in the house. And so, um, you know, there's the, there's the vicious expression and then there's the really, really...